Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Happy Saturday. We're going to do a couple of dirty M-word videos. And if you follow my channel at all, that means, or you know that means I'm going to talk McCulloch for a few minutes. So I've been working on this little factory reconditioned 14 inch. That's what the sticker looks like. This is the engine housing. I don't, I'm assuming it had a, a label up here that's just gone. I, I don't know. But this would be pretty late in McCulloch's run of stuff. Uh, to be fair, I haven't tried to Google the model number yet to see if I could actually find an IPL, which is really, really silly now that I think about it. Ultimately silly. I didn't even notice that was there. With all the part trouble that I've had with this saw, trying to find it, find a coil specifically. Yeah, anyway, as soon as this laptop boots up, I guess we'll do that live and we'll see if I can make a complete jackass of myself. Part of what I wanted to talk about was how it been been very difficult to find information on these really late model McCulloughs. All right. We'll just try typing that model number into Google. This would be the ultimate amusing on camera mess that I've had in a while. All right. I'm somewhat vindicated. I'm not finding an IPL. There's a lot of people like Fix You and a few of them other things. And it did have a 2.0 label based on what I'm seeing here at one point. Okay, cool. This actually... We'll get back on track here. So, as I was saying, finding IPLs for these late, late McCulloughs. And this, again, I, I, I can't remember <clears throat> the last time I saw a McCulloch in a box store. But I want to say it was right around 2000. I bought one at 2014. I was, what the hell was I, 16, 15? So that would have been in the mid-90s. Yeah, it would have been somewhere around there. I mean, we all know McCulloch went bankrupt. You know, Husqvarna ended up buying the name. And, you know, now they're not even sold here in the U.S., at least not that I'm aware of. Anyhow... I think a lot of shops were frustrated with what was going on and they would already kind of said to hell with it, we're done. So got this saw in pieces. It needed to have a carb rebuild and be put back together. So I did that. I tested the spark. This coil and flywheel that were on it. I tested the spark outside of the case and it had good spark on the spark plug but it wouldn't fire on my tester with the quarter inch gap. Okay. I took a gamble, thought, eh, I'm gonna see, because I know these are not easy to find. Gee, what do you know? Wouldn't even fire on a prime. Wouldn't even puff or anything. So it's like, alright, dang it. So I took it apart. You would think that that was a part number. Maybe it is. If it is, you won't find anywhere on Google that has that. And I pulled up the best IPLs I could find, or the most, you know, current, for the 160S, the Eager Beaver 100S, the Eager Beaver, I think it was a 01, what else was there? An Eager Beaver Super AV, I think, version of this that had AV could not find this coil listed. I just couldn't find it. But I know and knew and know that there was more than one electronic coil used on these things. Very much like home light. And there were even versions of these that still had points up into the mid 80s. So it's, it, it's a pain in the ass. Just like home lights mix of coils, you've got to have the right flywheel with the right coil. 
Now, Homelight did a much better job of documenting that, in my opinion. Uh, maybe McCulloch did a good job, but if so, there's far less dealers that have let their information go in the way of service bulletins and things like that, so that we know about it now. Because I, I just can't find that information. So, I think I've got all my junk here. You've got to late model one of these things, or a 130, a very late 130, that is also 2.0 labeled. You could have this coil and flywheel, or you could have this black coil and flywheel. Now, how in the hell do you tell those apart? They look pretty damn similar, don't they? Same poles, same castings. This is the ultimate of small sample sizes, so I'm going to I'm going to pass on the information I have with the caveat that two saws is not enough to say for certain what's going on here. But what I can tell you, this flywheel has a casting number of 30 right there and it has that same McCulloch and 30 on the back. This one that's associated with the black coil which is an SEM so that which should be a, a Walbro coil has a 22 there and then a 22 on the back and if I read that date right I think this was, a, I want to say, in 1989. I don't know. So that's what I know. What are the differences? I'm going to take that off for just a second. Left hand is white, just in case I screw this up. So... Both keyways are pointed roughly the same direction. Look at the differences in where the magnets lay. So that keyway is pointed roughly to right there on this magnet. This keyway is way up here. So Here's what I ended up doing. I know this is long-winded, but I'm trying to save you guys from going down the same stinking road that I did. What I ended up doing was finding, at first, a, uh, a white, beige, whatever you want to call it, string trimmer coil from the same basic era. It came in, and it was pointed the wrong way. Most of these the coil pack is actually facing down. The coil in the 2014s and all of those that came, uh, you know, in the 90s, like that one that I bought, it's the same lamination, same basic coil, but it's clocked 90 degrees different. That won't fit in there. So, the one I brought in didn't have this clear epoxy right here. And looking at it, I thought, eh, I don't know that I can actually press that lamination out. Well, let me be here to tell you, you can't. You can. You don't explode the entire coil. It doesn't work. It's not like the home light coils. You are not going to be able to press these laminations out and reclock this. So just take that away right now. Don't even consider it. So then I went out and found a black coil that... I knew looked very similar to an old kit that I had years ago for one of these things. That old kit had a flywheel with it, and so I knew I was taking a gamble. I bolted this on with the comp with the this flywheel still, and I didn't put it together all the way. I squirted some uh, fuel in there and tried to start it, and it it would fire, but it wasn't right. You guys know if you've primed a saw it's not drawing fuel you start it 
it'll gurgle flood and then whoo, you know it'll rev up as it runs out this thing wouldn't and it was blowing a lot of smoke and it was more of a it, it just sounded like it was struggling and again if you've ever missed time to a small block Chevy and gotten off a tooth or two on the distributor on the retarded side that was what this sounded like so coming all the way around I'm gonna put this thing together with this flywheel that has the 22 that came off of a parts saw that I bought to try and get this customer saw going this Mac 130 with a 2.0 it came in with that same black coil on it so I'm 99% certain I got it this time and seeing the flywheel key position again pretty certain I got it one little thought that comes to mind is could a guy go ahead and mill a new slot in this flywheel to match that coil? Probably. I'm not equipped to do that. I wouldn't even try. Tapered shaft, trying to mill that. I, I don't know how they did it to begin with. I don't know what, you know, if it was a special type of uh, channel chisel or what. I don't know. I, I'm not a machinist. That's, that's not my gig. <laughs> but that's what I was trying to get across was... Uh, you're gonna have to match your flywheel so if you get one of these apart and you've got a certain color coil that's gone bad you're gonna have to match it you're either gonna have to get that same color somewhere find a part saw or you're gonna have to find the right flywheel now again when you go on eBay there's three or four of these flywheels right now that would save for a hundred s hundred and sixty s a 130 whatever but looking at the top black poles, you're not going to be able to tell the difference unless you see those numbers and there's one other thing that I just noticed this one says ignition with an arrow and this white one has an F and an arrow and a B which makes zero sense whatsoever I would say if you're gonna put a B on something put it on the one that says you know that has a black coil I don't know I just don't know but that's the information I have right now yeah so I'm gonna post this I'll put as much info in the the description so that people googling this problem hopefully we'll be able to find the video and with any luck the next video I record will be a test run of this damn thing hey everybody welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair we are looking at piers uh, Eager Beaver, uh, this is a, a factory reconditioned 14 inch, uh, he had referred to it as a 120 which it's related but this is a much later uh, model than a 120, this would probably actually be a very late model 130 that went back for warranty work and then they reissued, so anyway this is the one it was completely disassembled had a bad coil and I had to play the, the mix match flywheel coil game to find a, an electronic ignition coil that was actually sufficient to run on this and uh, so I think we've got all that taken care of went and put the bar and chain on and uh, chain had one extra drive link in it this was a uh, damn it and does not tension worth a crap or I should say it doesn't tension or it hasn't seated in the sprocket well I've rolled this over and tightened it twice uh, hopefully it will take a set here and find somewhere it's happy with anyway it had a 50 link chain on it Oop. and it should only have 49 on a 14 inch McCulloch bar so let's see I last ran it about 15 minutes ago let's see if it still wants to play ball
needs to be tuned with the air filter on to get the final tuning and I did not have it on the last uh, go around so there we go I'm gonna let it sit for a couple days trying to do uh, another cold start and just make sure that uh, everything is still good to go otherwise Pierre will get this thing finally heading back to you